Lately it seems to be that no one and no one thing is safe in the eyes of controversy. If it's a Christmas song, an old statue, someone's career, or even a sports name or logo, the point is someone somewhere is going to have a problem with it. Now, hear us out. We are by no means saying that we agree with only one side. Sometimes change is a virtue. There is negativity and corruption in the world as we all know. We all are committed to be on the right side of history. However, some of this is just simply ridiculous. The Chicago Blackhawks have somehow managed to stay out of the limelight for quite some time. Maybe it has to do with them not playing up to par lately, but their time in Hell's Kitchen seems to be over. Lately, there has been a lot of talk regarding the Hawks' name and their logo, similar to what happened over in the NFL with the former Washington Redskins, which are now known as the Washington football team. There's one major problem with all of this. You can't find any way to rationalize this one. There is nothing derogatory, racist, or even simply wrong with the Blackhawks name or even their logo. Find one thing, we dare you. This is where we had to draw a line and make a video about this because this is just absurd. Before we explain the significance and history of their culturally unique and beautiful name and logo, we want to take a step back and look somewhere else to justify this even more thoroughly. MLB's Cleveland Indians. They were one of the first to make a change, and whereas you can make an argument on both ends to where the logo should have remained the same or did in fact have to change like it did, at least there's reasons on both sides with some logic. Maybe you said, it's a part of history, and it acknowledges that there was a time where Native Americans did walk the lands of Cleveland. Maybe this is a way of paying homage. Or you were on the other side that said, hey, that's a pretty racist depiction of what a Native American looks like. Chief Wahoo was bountiful eventually. The point is, at least there you can make an argument and actually back it up with some meaning and passion for a reason. That's not with this one though. The Washington Redskins had to change their name due to a similar reason. Redskins is perceived as a racist and crude way to acknowledge the natives. Same as Cleveland, at least you can make an argument. Now back to our Chicago Blackhawks. Look at their name. Now look at their logo. Now look at both. Find what's wrong, or racist to be fair. You'll find nothing but history, art, and culture. The team was named in honor of the U.S. 86th Infantry Division, which was nicknamed the Black Hawk Division after Black Hawk, a Native American chief. Also, the team's founder, Frederick McLaughlin, served in that division as well, and even right there, with that one fact alone, we say checkmate. As for the logo, well, the so-called racist logo was actually designed by McLaughlin's wife, Irene Castle, a famous actress, dancer, and animal rights activist. The logo depicts no sign of racism or wrongdoing to any Native Americans in our opinion. It is one of the most iconic and beautifully crafted logos in sports history. Today, however, many may not see that. They may just see an opportunity to erase more history thinking they are doing good, when really not knowing the true history behind this masterpiece. Thankfully, the National Hockey League isn't like the rest. The NHL stated that they refused to change anything about this iconic treasure due to the fact of who it honors and what it stands for. They took the necessary steps in the right direction to top this. They banned the use of headdresses at the games following this announcement. You want progression? That's progressing. The Black Hawks stated, We celebrate Black Hawks' legacy by offering ongoing reverent examples of Native American culture, traditions, and contributions, providing a platform for genuine dialogue with local and national Native American groups. Then they added, we recognize there is a fine line between respect and disrespect, and we commend other teams for their willingness to engage in that conversation. Moving forward, we are committed to raising the bar even higher to expand awareness of Black Hawk and the important contributions of all Native American people. If you enjoyed this video and you agreed with us, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. By the way, we also have a Bench King store out now with amazing merch on there. It's in the description below, so make sure you go check that out. Thank you. We'll see you next time, dogs.